Christian, and he's a Christian, and he's a pretty cool dude, so therefore I'm a pretty cool dude too. And that, that, that's stupid. I want you to hear me. Christianity is not validated or discredited by its acceptance or rejection by celebrity people. I want you to hear that. Christianity is not validated, nor is it discredited by its acceptance or rejection by celebrities. For example, if every Hollywood actor got saved, that doesn't make Christianity any more true than it was before. And if every Hollywood actor refused the Bible and and attacked the Bible and rejected Christ, that doesn't prove Christianity wrong. And so, I don't know why we get more excited about some meth head rock star getting saved than we do some child on a bus route getting saved. I don't know why we play that game. I think it's because we're looking for acceptance in the world and trying to find some angle to make Christianity cool, and it never will be cool. And I'll tell you another thing that um, Christian people do today that's troublesome is that we give passes to people that we shouldn't give passes to. When these celebrities come forward and say, I'm, I'm a believer now, I'm just like you, we need to examine that biblically and not get caught up in the hype. Because the hype, it's kind of like a mob. It's irrational. And it's something that we need to kind of calm down on. Wait, give it time, and examine it biblically. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. I want to talk to you about Brian Welch. And I remember when I was in high school playing football, there was this kid standing in the line behind me in a drill, and he was singing like the most profane lyrics I had ever heard anybody in all 14 years of my life ever say. I mean, mean, it was like off the charts. Some of the raunchy, gross things he was saying. And I turned around and I said, man, what are you you talking about? And uh, he said, oh, man, this is a song, new song that I just heard the other day. And uh, he said it was from a band named Korn. And I thought... Who names their band Corn? I thought you named it something like manly, like Metallica or something, you know, something more metalish than that. I mean, why would you name it after a vegetable? And I thought kind of that was dumb, but whatever. And then I, I started I started listening to it myself as a lost teenager, and I, I was into all that. But when I got saved, I knew that this was wrong. This is something I had to come out of and um, just walked away from that and never looked back. And that's part of being saved. And years later, down the road, I, I believe I was actually in Bible college, a seminary in East Tennessee when this happened. I, I received word that the lead singer, actually the lead guitarist of that group, named Brian Welch, actually professed Christ as well and came out of the band. And I, I was excited. I said, praise the Lord. That's cool. I, I'm glad that somebody that I kind of knew who they were before I got saved has gotten saved too. Uh, but it never really sat right with me. Because, of course, he had the long hair and the dreads, and he had all that. And he was a drug addict. And he got off drugs. And I'm thankful for anybody who gets off drugs. I think that's great. Um, But it seemed like nothing had changed in his life. I mean, it seemed like he was the same Brian. And this is what I did. I said, okay, let's just go back and look at what the Bible actually has to say about getting saved. And and the Bible says here, 2 Corinthians 5.17, which is the verse that God gave me assurance of salvation on. Uh, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And I realize when a person gets saved, they become a new creature, essentially, with new heart, new desires, new, I mean, everything becomes new. That's what the Bible clearly says. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. There was a song we would sing at youth camp, The Things I Used to Do, I Don't Do Them Anymore. And I love that song. And uh, it's true. The things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. Of course we know that God has to do a work of sanctification in our hearts.